My name is Santi, and I'm addicted to YouTube. Just like you, probably. And I watch... <laughs> I literally just checked my stats. I watched four hours of YouTube today. Don't ask. That's a problem for another day. But the thing is that I like keeping track of certain creators and certain people that I'm subscribed to. But for years now, subscriptions don't mean anything to the user, right? All you need to do now to actually get a notification or have a way to keep track of your favorite creators is by hitting that bell button. But guess what? I hate notifications. I don't like having that kind of stuff. I don't do that. That just means that it's really hard for me to keep track of the creators that I want to follow when they post a new video. I just kind of go back and go back into the channels to see if they post it. But honestly, it's all a big mess, so I had to go to the only place where you can go where you actually need help. I went to Twitter and I asked for help, and my savior, Mark, this guy, shout out to you, Mark, you're awesome. You recommended a really good solution with RSS feeds, which is something that I was searching for, but I honestly couldn't find any way to work. And I've been trying to get this to work for years, actually. Maybe I'm being stupid, but I just couldn't find any solutions until now. So if I check out this link, we stumble upon Feedbean and how it has YouTube embeds. And supposedly you can see that in here it says that you can easily subscribe to any YouTube channel, user or playlist by copying and pasting the YouTube URL into Feedbean. That's exactly what we need. I just need this so much. This is gonna be my first impressions on these awesome apps. I really hope it works. And yeah, we'll take it from there. So this is gonna be my first impression reactions and we're just gonna create an account and we're gonna see from the start. If this video fails, I might not post it, but if you're seeing it, it means that I somewhat succeeded. So let's get to it. All right, so let's go to the main page. Actually in here it says that we can start a free trial, then it's gonna be $5 a month. Okay, cool. So they do tell you here it's a 14 day trial. I'm gonna enter my info, don't look, cover your eyes. All right, I just entered my email and created a password and sign up. Great, that was easy. They didn't even ask for a confirmation for my email. Maybe they will later, I don't know. Here we are, it says 14 days left of the trial. Okay, let's just take a look at the settings, like what there is, okay? So here you'll see all the subscriptions that you have. Sources, newsletters, okay, that's interesting. No way, that's really cool. That kills two birds with one stone because I've been looking for a solution to read newsletters in a RSS reader. Okay, maybe let's take a step back and let's actually talk about what Fitbin is, right? At least in concept, you know, because it is, like, like it says in the sales page, a nice place to read on the web, follow your passions with RSS, which I'll explain in a second in case you're not aware, Twitter and email newsletters, right? So back in the day, back when the internet was a nice place, <laughs> Just kidding, it's still nice, just different type of nice. <laughs> there used to be RSS, right? And that was just a way to keep track of every website that you want to revisit articles. It was basically a way in which you have one app and then you enter kind of like a, a link to a type of file. I'll show you, it looks exactly, it's horrible. It's like this, this to my YouTube channel technically. But a lot of websites back in the day, pretty much all of them used to have like this type of link and code that you could just access in another application. And then you could manage to have like a central place where you can keep tabs of every website that you want to follow, maybe YouTube channels that you want to follow, this kind of stuff. That used to be way more commonplace back in the day. Honestly, I was a kid, so I didn't really know how to use that kind of stuff. So I don't really have memories like some of you adults that actually know what I'm talking about <laughs> more than I do. But basically with the rise of social media applications that want you to stay in their platforms, kind of like they kind of didn't really want RSS to exist all that much, so they stopped promoting it. Instead, apps like Instagram, they want you to follow big creators in their account, same with YouTube, same with Twitter, so that you stay in their platforms rather than actually have a central place where you can just manage your content as you wish as a user, right? So that is what apps like Fitbin are trying to do, have like back this central place where you can keep track of blog posts. Apparently they also have integrations with Twitter and email newsletters, which to me is a huge deal because I love some newsletters, but I just can't be bothered to have a cluttered inbox in my email. It's just one of the worst experiences in life. I absolutely hate it. So the fact that this, this also solves that problem, probably gonna be a great experience. So hopefully that explains a bit of what this is, just a central place to keep track of all of the stuff that you want to consume. With that said, let's actually <laughs> just shut me up for a second and let's actually get this going. So we're gonna try to add something. So I'm gonna add my YouTube channel. Here I have the link. Nice, so far so good. Uh, do we want to tag it? Maybe let's just tag it YouTube channels. Now we can add it. And there it is. Oh wow, that worked. Apparently it also brings a couple of my live streams. Then if I click on a video, should be able to play it here. I'm just gonna mute it for now. Cool, there it is. It is working. Oh, usually when you pause on YouTube, there's a horrible pop-up. I don't know if you know what I mean, but it's nice that it's not appearing here. Okay, so we have view changes since original. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So I actually updated something in the description and it's actually showing me. That's pretty interesting. I like that. But yeah, and here you can see the description. So here we can go to subscriptions. 
Oh wow, that's interesting. So you can see how often a YouTube channel uploads. What happens if I click on edit? Okay, you can add more tags. Right, this is great. You know what? Let me just start bringing more subscriptions from YouTube, just trying to fill this up a bit more. So let's do that. All right, so it worked like a charm. Honestly, it's super easy. Like if I want to add Nigahiga, I just go add. I put it there and it automatically just brings the name and then I can tag it. But look at that, that's incredible. And I can see how many entries each one of these I'm yet to watch. From now on, as I keep using it, I'm only gonna see the videos that I haven't watched. I can see that for the whole tag of YouTube channels, there's 41 and red. And here I can just see every single thing. Wow, man, <laughs> that's so cool. So I can see every single creator that I subscribe to from here just automatically goes to my unread. And I have kind of like a timeline of everything one of these creators has uploaded and I haven't seen yet. And the moment I click play, it automatically marks it as seen or you can click in here. And oh, look at this. Oh, okay. So here is the dark mode that we were talking about. So that's how you control it. Okay, that's really cool. I couldn't find that anywhere else. Uh, yeah, some other options in here. Pre pretty nice. You can start certain things. I don't know what that does, but I guess I'll find out. Pretty cool. Seems like there's other things like actions, which I still need to learn. You can do some more stuff in here so you can name whatever action you want to do, you can apply it to certain tags or you can include all of all of your feet and you can automatically mark them as red or star them. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it seems like it does give you some options. For these sources, for Twitter and newsletter, I'm definitely excited to try that. I'm gonna play with that maybe later and if you want me to, I can make another video about that. And you might ask like, hey, isn't, it, isn't this just the same as subscribing because you have a sidebar in YouTube, like this one right here where you can just see how oh, all the people that are subscribed to, do they have a blue dot, meaning they have new content that you haven't seen or not. But I personally have <laughs> subscribed to so many people i will be honest of course most of them i don't watch on a regular basis some of them have stopped uploading but i guess i've always liked subscribing to support creators that i think they're cool so like it's not like it's always been a matter of keeping tabs over on everyone plus having like this place you know having just like an unread or being able to do separate categories you know like for instance if i take a couple of creators right yeah for instance i'm gonna take nelson delis and i'm gonna edit and i can add another tag so he talks about memory techniques and now i have a separate tag where i can have him okay so i'm gonna add i have the link of another guy that does memory techniques anthony metevier and i can tag him both as youtube channel and memory techniques and now you will see that they're both here and what's really cool is that now i can just go to that bigger tag and I can see anything related to that topic. So you see the power of this is it is quite different. It is way more powerful to what you can do in here. So in a way it's similar to the subscriptions tab in here, but this one of course is a mess. And because I'm just, I've just been subscribed to too many people, this is quite useless to me. I guess you can manage it, but all you can really do here is subscribe, hit the notification bell or unsubscribe, or you know, like there's not really anything you can do in here. You certainly can't tag creators the way that you can in here. And that's incredible. So I'm definitely gonna be creating more tags so let's do that all right there we have it i have more tags so again in here i can just see anything related to youtube because i tagged it so productivity memory techniques exercise animation 3d blender stuff so now i have these nice tags which to me is better than folders because most of the time a particular creator is more than one thing at least the ones that I follow. So I really like the ability to be able to tag them in several categories if you want them to. That is just awesome. Perfect, really happy with it. No way. <laughs> but wait, why do I even care about apps like this? Let me tell you a quick story. Right, so this story relates to the beginning, remember? My name is Santi and I'm addicted to YouTube. Yeah, that YouTube addiction. I think I do use YouTube quite a lot for improving my skills, learning about things that I care about, but another part of that is definitely falling for a lot of clickbaity videos and just like spending a lot of unnecessary hours. And I wanna be good about that again. And there's a book that I love that I read a couple years ago called Digital Minimalism that really helped with this. And now I want to revisit that book, which takes us to today's sponsor, Shortform. Shortform provides the best book guides and summaries for the books that you want to read about, whether that is on business, philosophy, productivity, they have it all. Just to show you, for instance, here's the book that I was telling you about. If I just search for digital minimalism right here, you'll be able to see 
The summary, and I love this quote right here, those who promote reducing technology use typically advise simple hacks like turning off notifications, but I, like I talked about, I do take advantage of a lot of the videos that I watch on YouTube, so it's not like I want to miss absolutely everything. I do want to have a bit of a system to keep track of the content creators that I want to learn from. So, you know, it's not as simple as just never use technology, but rather how to use technology. So books like this really help. Short Form is great. They add new books every week. And in case you don't find the precise book that you're looking for, they do take your vote into account for new releases. If you do want to give Short Form a try, make sure to use this link. <laughs> It's gonna be in the description. Shortform.com is Ashanti. You'll get a five day trial and a 20% annual discount if you go for it. Let me know if you go for it. Let me know if you like it. And with that said, let's go back to the video. I was gonna do another fancy transition, but that took me like an hour. <laughs> so let's just go back. Woo! Again, huge shout out to Mark for showing me this app. I can't believe I found this. Um, this is exactly what I've been needing and I absolutely love it. So yeah, can't wait to try out the um, newsletter as well as. Twitter functionality, some of the actions. Right now, I just wanted a solution for YouTube and this more than solves it. Nice, yeah. Give me a couple of weeks and I'll probably have everything perfectly organized in here. I'm using some other RSS readers, but I'm gonna definitely be moving to this one, at least for a while, see if I like it, see if there's no deal breakers, but so far I can't find any. So really happy with it. I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more first impressions of apps because I don't usually do this. I like being at least a little bit familiar before I make a video about things, but let me know if you like this and be happy. Happy to make more. With that said, I hope you have an awesome week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So yeah.